Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. Happy Thursday. We got five matchups on this NBA slate today, so be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my links in the description below, and you already know if you guys like betting on NBA player props, go ahead and sign up with Parlay Play in the link below. Get five free entries when you guys sign up, so go ahead and take advantage, get some nice wins, and yeah, we'll hop in it today. I mean, yesterday, probably the worst day all month. I mean, got murdered. Pretty much every favorite or underdog that I had, for the most part, just got absolutely murdered. Yesterday was a weird day. So, um, yeah, let's hop back into it. Five matchups, starting with the Cleveland Cavaliers versus the Toronto Raptors. Raptors opening up as three and a half point home favorites with the over under at 214 and a half. The last three head to head, Cleveland is 3 and 0. 3 and 0 covering the spread. The overs hit in one out of the last three matchups. No major injuries here. I see OG and Ubi is questionable for the Raptors. Cleveland 5 and 5 in their last 10. They did beat Toronto in their last matchup by 8 points. Toronto 6 and 4 in their last 10. Coming off that bad Chicago loss. Um Cleveland 5 and 2 covering against Toronto. 4 and 2 in their last 6 against Toronto. They've played good against the Raptors here. Raptors 0 and 5 at home right now. Um they are 6 and 2 covering the spread. Two good teams here. I like Cavs plus 3 and a half points. I just think that's too many points here. I know they're at home, but um plus 3 and a half. Cavs beat them in the last game. Give me Cavs plus 3 and a half. Next matchup, we have the Chicago Bulls versus the New Orleans Pelicans. Bulls opening up as a one-point road favorite with the over-under at 228.5. The last three head-to-head, -head, the Bulls are 3-0. 3-0 covering the spread. The overs hit in each of the last three matchups. Um, I see DeMar DeRozan is questionable here. Um, so be sure to check his status. Chicago just three and seven in their last ten. Pelicans four and six in their last ten. Both teams kind of struggling here. Chicago, I mean, there's two and ten covering the spread. Zero oh and eight covering on the road. Kind of crazy. Um, I like the Bulls to bounce back here. They've been, they've been really good against uh, the Pelicans. Only a one point spread here. Bulls much more talented. Give me Bulls money line on the road. Next matchup, we have the Indiana Pacers versus the Memphis Grizzlies. Grizzlies opening up as a 12 and a half point home favorite with the over under at 235 and a half. The last 10 head to head, the Pacers are seven and three, six and four covering the spread. The overs hit in nine out of the last 10 matchups. I do see John Moran is questionable. He was out yesterday, so be sure to check his status. Pacers 4-6 and six in their last 10. They lost by 33 points to Memphis just a couple games ago. Memphis on a two-game winning streak. Coming off a 12-point win against Brooklyn. A game without John Moran up against Kyrie and KD, and they pretty much dominated that game, which was kind of crazy. Uh, Memphis 5-0 and at home. Yeah, now both teams coming off a of back-to-back here. I do like Memphis minus 12. I mean, not in love with the spread. I think Pacers could maybe keep it close. But if John Morant plays, that definitely makes the play a lot better. But I do like Memphis at home. And, you know, be cautious with that spread. Next matchup, we have the Washington Wizards versus the Milwaukee Bucks. The Bucks opening up as a 12-point home favorite with the over-under at 233. The last 10 head-to-head -head Milwaukee, 9-1, and 6-4 and four covering the spread. The overs hit an 8 out of the last 10 matchups. Uh, no Kyle Kuzma for the Wizards. No Chris Middleton for the Bucks. Washington just 2-8 and eight in their last 10. Milwaukee 8-2 and two in their last 10. Coming off a big um, Chicago win. Wizards 0-7 oh on the road. Milwaukee 5-0 and oh at home where they've been able to get it done. Yeah, I like the Bucks money line. Be cautious with that spread, but um, you know they've dominated the Wizards, and I don't expect too much to change in this matchup. And then the last matchup, we have the Phoenix Suns versus the Denver Nuggets. 
Denver opening up as a three and a half point home favorite with the over under at 231. The last 10 head to head Phoenix, uh, six and four, six and four covering the spread. The overs hit in six out of the last 10 matchups. Phoenix on a six game winning streak coming off a nice win over Minnesota. Denver, uh, six and four in their last 10 coming off a nice Clippers win. Phoenix, six and oh on the road. 5 and 1 covering against Denver. Um Denver just 1 and 4 covering at home against Phoenix. Yeah, you know, I know Phoenix coming off a of back to back here, but they've just been so good on the road. I like Phoenix plus 3 and a half. I just think that's too many points the way they've been playing on a 6 game winning streak. We'll see if they choose to hold any players out. You never know, but as long as Devin Booker's playing, and most of their key guys and Aiden. Um, I like Phoenix plus three and a half on the road. And that's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Thursday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Friday. Have a good one.